Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwa. Welcome to my channel. So today I have come up with a new series of Salesforce that is Education Cloud. So it's gonna be very amazing. So first let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a Salesforce consultant. I have eight certifications along with uh, I have Education Cloud consultant as well. So in this series, I'm going to talk about Education Cloud, its functionalities and uh, its architecture and everything. So let's get started. So this video is about the overview, Education Data Architecture Overview. So behind the Education Cloud, what works that is Education Data Architecture. So Education Data Architecture is nothing but the uh, structure of the objects and the relationships between them that uh, overall comprise the education cloud okay so it's uh, everything about a student and uh, your faculties uh, staff uh, facilities courses programs uh, and everything about your education organization so as you can see in this uh, uh, image it talks about the organization educational organization it talks about the student it talks about uh, staff facility program plan term course course offering academic program so everything is there so uh, let me talk a little bit in detail about all of these things so here you can see a kind of entity relationship diagram so uh, let me explain few of the things here so this big bar on the top you can see that is account and on the left bar as you can see that is contact okay so account uh, in education cloud represents uh, uh, your education institution academic program uh, in a department uh, or administrative account or household account okay so we, we are going to talk about all of these uh, type of accounts in detail in another video but uh, that that is sort of the thing uh, account object contains in education cloud contact is uh, any person which is included in your education institution that could be your student staff uh, students parents or anyone so those people we represent in the contact object. Then uh, let's talk about few more objects which are kind of important. A contact can have multiple attributes. So attributes means uh, a contact can have kind of certifications or degrees or characteristics. So all those things represents as the attribute of the contact. Languages a contact can have multiples then another important thing is affiliation so affiliation means a contact is related to which accounts so whether it is related to uh, an organ uh, an education institution that is an affiliation any household account that is an affiliation or any department that is also an affiliation so a student or a contact can be associated with multiple accounts can be affiliated with multiple accounts then another important uh, uh, object is relationship so uh, there could be multiple contacts that have a kind of relation between them like there could be two uh, two siblings uh, studying in the same institution or uh, there could be a father or mother or anyone so those kind of relationships are uh, comes under the relationship object then uh, as you can see there are courses program plans education history course offerings term console course offering schedule there is uh, like term grade plan requirement so all of these things we are going to cover in detail in upcoming videos so that was like a, a general entity relationship diagram uh, or general education data architecture and on which education cloud is based upon completely. So that was all about this video. If you like it, please like it and comment on it. For more, please subscribe my channel as Abhishek Bagherwa. Thank you.